Hey, how you guys doing? So we got more news about the Love Live School Idol musical. So, you know, basically High School Musical, you know, you can, you can see the font right there. It's basically Love Live, but the school musical. So that, we, of course, we were just recently announced that's going to be a thing. And now we get to know more about the characters that are in there. Now, I don't know what I have to be tubers, but I guess this is coming out first. So this is on our website. It is in Japanese, but I do have Google Translate, so if some things will come out translated. Again, not everything because, you know, these are images. It can't translate that. But the rest, they're right there. So if you're wondering, there is going to be a translated version by Team Onobe. They went and translated this image, so I'll pop that on the screen for a few moments so you can see. And they basically, it shows a chart. On the left side, we have one school. On the right side, we have another school. And we have a bunch of characters for each visual school, which are having different opinions. So the arrows will show relations, and the way the arrow points to shows the, how one is related to the another one. So for example, the top middle characters, those are going to be and like the chair ones, but they're also the mutters of the girls directly beneath them. As you can see that relation that's showing, this is the mother, and the one beneath is the daughter. And you know, some will show that these three are classmates, if you see that triangle, and some say I adore this one or whatnot. And that's the basic idea throughout this chart. So and we're going to go back to the the site here and I'll give you a link in the description if you want to take a look at this because this is a, kind of an interactive site. So you can go ahead and click on image and it will show more information. So example, let's go ahead and click this one. And we get to see the name, the actress, as well as a brief description of each girl. So this is going to be the mothers, you know, I'm not expecting a whole lot to be shown for them, but at least we get to know who it is. So this is Marika Subaki, and keep in mind this this front part is uh, Subaki, and the second part is Marika. So the Google Translate versions are whatever they put. They actually put it first and last name. So then keep in mind this is fine. So you can say it that way. And this is Yuki Aono, and she's basically the modern president of uh, this school. So let's go ahead and take a look at her daughter. And you see she's also Subaki. Hence the mother daughter relationship. And keep in mind the top is going to be the name of the character they play. The name of the actress is going to be beneath. And we have Marina Horichi. And you, you know, you can go ahead and read all about it. I'm not going to go through every single one because there's 12 of these people here. But if you're more curious to see the kind of the story of each individual girl, I would highly recommend going and clicking and reading on each one, especially if you could probably Google Translate. So you can get a pretty good idea of what each one is. So there's a variety of information, especially for some of the other girls, where you get to see a brief description of what their relationship is. The two main characters would be these two girls here. So you can go and click and learn about each of the girls and the actresses. So if you're wondering what the characters look like, I can go ahead and pull up those as well, as well as the names. because. There's different images that actually show kind of a chibi version of these girls, so I can run and scroll through those for each individual one, except for the mothers, because I guess they don't get one. So I'm curious to see why that is the case. Does that mean there's going to be something animated? I don't know, but we do have these to look at so far. But of course, then the one thing that I'm sure some of you are asking is, well, who the heck are these people? Do we know any of these people? Well, from my short and brief research, none of these people seem to be that big. Now, keep in mind, my background is specifically looking at anime, so I'm looking at seiyus and not necessarily the rest. I mean, I can could, I could pull up their Japanese Wikipedia if I can find it, but I, I wasn't still finding a whole lot either from that as well. So, unless I'm wrong, there's not a whole lot there. So, but keep in mind, these people are actresses and not necessarily voice actresses so you know you probably you're not gonna find a lot there for them. and to us these girls are like who are these girls to us you know they don't do a whole lot of voice acting but keep in mind some of these girls actually are voice actresses there were three girls that I was able to find that seemed to do some say you work but it's pretty unsubstantial but some of you guys might know them so I will quickly talk about them because I figured why not it's not much to talk about so I could definitely discuss what they have done since there's a little bit left but before I go do that I do I am curious to see do you guys even care about me going into more detail I can do another video 
going and searching more about each individual of these actresses and seeing well what's their background now but i don't know i kind of see this more of a side project and who knows what this is going to be and i don't know if you guys care and i don't want to waste my time on stuff that you guys don't want to watch so you know let me know in the comments below if you really want me to expand on more on this or if you, all you do is care about the seiyus because that's basically what i'm just going to do at this point right now is just cover the ones that i found but you know let me know in the description below if you feel strongly about learning more about these or maybe later you will once we actually get to see the stuff and if this ex gets expanded more then you know for sure i can definitely go into more detail about these people so without further ado let's go into the three actresses that i found some information about them based on their careers as say you so far so first up on the list of the people that i was able to find it through on a list is sana hoshimori so there's really not much here for her we can go and scroll down she has really one role that role is going to be shen lin kuo however you say that in the salt lily it's actually in the f i guess there's a spin-off of salt lily so there's that role as well as she's in the theme song and a performance so here are some clips that i found of her Next up on the list, I have Marina Horiuchi. So, again, there's not a lot, but there's a little bit more here for her. So, for her, we do have a few more roles, as you can see on all I'm listed here, as well as some roles as the ending openings or insert songs. So, the first one we're gonna start with is Hataraku Masama. That is the McDonald's anime, and she sings in the second season ending theme. We can also see that she has a big role in Healer Girl and she performs in a boatload of the songs as well as she is Riemi Itsushiro, which is a main character in an anime. まったく。待ち合わせに遅れてくるなんて先輩に対する尊敬の気持ちが足りないのよ。それに遅刻は医療にとって致命的よ。何言ってんの?呼吸法はヒーリングにとって基本中の基本でしょ?体得できなくて
So one of the first things you got to see is her favorite anime, Love Life shows up. Isn't that interesting? And on top of that, her favorite song is Yosura wa Nandemo Shiteru no. Some of you guys might know that because that is also a Love Life song. It's the shuttle song, you know, with kind of the water sounds at the beginning. It's part of the Genki Zekai no Day Day Days, uh, the first single. It's the B-side for that song. So, I found it interesting. It's kind of cool. She likes Love Life and finally she's kind of getting into Love Life. Well, beyond that, she said there was a child actress before that and so on. And you'll see things about talking about Produce 48, which that's a kind of a South Korean drama show, I believe. Or a competition, whatever it was. But I'm not going to get into too much about that. So you can go and see their history and whatnot. It kind of goes into detail and it explains that she eventually became a, a part of Team B. So other sources are kind of outdated on the fact that she's Team A, but this kind of shows her path as of right now. But it does show that she participates in some of the singles. So I'll go ahead and grab some of these singles. You can click the link in the description on those and then it will send you to that. And it shows some other media appearances and whatnot for her. So I think this is kind of a pretty good site just strictly on her if you wanted to learn more about her. So yeah, let's go ahead and jump to some of the music videos that I found. But that will be it for this video. So of course I didn't cover every single actress in great detail. Mainly, I'm just not very knowledgeable about these people and they don't really seem to be in the field of voice actresses, which is I'm a little bit more familiar with that in anime. So you know, of course these people tend to do more things outside of that. If you definitely are more interested in them, you might have to look at to like some J-pop or J-dramas or that kind of stuff because they're, they're definitely more likely to have a lot more roles in like TV and radio and, and other acting roles and things such like theater and that's kind of a lot what there is and I don't know how a well, good job I would do figuring out what those are and getting them but I figured I at least cover the ones that I'm easily able to figure out at least within a day's worth of research and whatnot. But hopefully you at least found this interesting. So some of these girls have done some voice acting. This is mean they'll eventually shift in towards an anime. I, I, I don't know. This is just theater. It might just be its one time thing or a few time things. Some small one off thing. Could it be adapted in the anime? I guess if not just not your trust and popularity. But you already got what these girls would look like in kind of a chibi form. If that means anything, who knows? But that's what we got. You know, some of these girls have song and, you know, especially in theater, you expect them to sing. So they can definitely sing. But not a lot of them seem to have a singing career so far, at least especially in the idol scene where it's kind of limited. But, I mean, look at Leela. They didn't have any kind of experience with voice acting in general or acting really in a professional sense at all. And they seem to be doing a pretty good job. So I think it, they can do it if they really want to. I guess the main question is, do they, do we want it? Well, let me know what you guys think about this in the comments below. And if any of these actresses have grabbed your attention. And I'm curious to see who you seem to like so far. Of course, I will try to provide links to everything in the description below. So if you find anything interesting or want to look more, go ahead and go to the description. And you can go find stuff there. But anyways, thank you guys for watching. And of course, shout out to YouTube members like CoolMax for supporting this channel. Thank you so much. And we'll have to see what this turns out to be and of course if there's more to talk about i'll try to update you guys again this will be happening late this year for an actual piece of cool maybe they're probably gonna release some recordings maybe we can live stream it or they'll do some blu-ray copies and we can look into it and see what comes of it because i am curious to see what comes out of it and then maybe later we'll get to the vtubers and anyway, thank you guys for watching and hope to catch you guys in another video soon